quick overview of Armor Rogue. The Armor Rogue is the other form of Char Cadet, which you know didn't get a split evolution when Serial Edge came out, which was my guess what they were going to do since Serial Edge was its own Pokemon. I figured they was going to release Armor Rogue soon, and I didn't think it was going to be within the next lineup that we got. So get a good look at his moves. So as a Char Cadet, every third attack becomes a boosted attack and deals increased damage as armor rogue every time the user hits an opposing pokemon with a basic attack it has a cannon gauge that fills when the cannon gauge is full the next basic attack consumes the entire cannon gauge and it becomes a boosted attack so when the user hits an, an opposing pokemon with a basic attack a blazing mark is applied to it if the user hits an opposing pokemon who has three or more blazing marks using fire spin or armor cannon all marks are consumed dealing additional damage to that opponent's to that opposing Pokemon. So it's passive as Flash Flare. When the Pokemon with this ability takes special attack based damage from opposing Pokemon, the damage it takes is reduced for a short time and its next basic attack deals additional damage. This ability goes on cooldown after it is triggered. So its first set of moves is Incinerate. Um, it has the user attack the designated Pokemon with a flame, setting it ablaze, dealing damage over time for a short time and when the Pokemon uses a berry the effects are halved so there's that and then there's fire spin has the user generate a, f a fierce vortex of fire around itself dealing damage to every opposing Pokemon it hits every time the Pokemon deals damage its defense and special defense are increased for a short time this effect can stack up to three times while the vortex is active its duration is increased if the user hits opposing pokemon with a basic attack and uh the upgrade increases movement speed for a short time when the move hits an opposing pokemon uh and then he has armor cannon which the user combines his shoulder his shoulder armor and charge power then fire a blazing ball of flame the user releases a shockwave in front of itself when firing dealing damage to the opposing pokemon the fired ball of flame explodes when it hits an opposing pokemon or after it travels a set distance dealing damage to opposing pokemon and leaving them unable to act the user's defense and special defense is decreased for a short time after using this move uh, and the upgrade increases the range of the move okay so the second set of moves first off is will-o-wisp has the user shoot a flame in the designated direction dealing damage and applying slowing effect to opposing pokemon it hits and leaving them burned for a short a short time after using this move the user's next basic attack becomes a boosted attack uh, then he has flame charge which is different from like they really should have called this shoulder tackle because that's basically what it is if you played marvel vs capcom 2 and you use colossus this is basically what it does so it has the user cloak itself in flame and a charge and charge in a designated direction dealing damage to the opposing pokemon and hits and shoving them when this move hits an opposing pokemon the user is granted a shield and this move this move's cooldown is reduced for a short time after this move after using this move the cannon gauge becomes full and will not decrease after a boosted attack is used so reduces the damage the user receives for a short time after this move hits on an opposing team so it gives them a defense buff and then he has side shot uh, has the user materialize odd socket waves odd, odd socket weight psychic waves excuse me um to attack in three areas in front of itself dealing damage to opposing pokemon it hits while partially ignoring their special defense the third attack throws the opposing pokemon and hits for a short time after using this move the cannon gauge slowly becomes full and will not decrease after boosted attacks are used and then it has his unite move called psycho boom and it jumps in the air charges a psychic power then create an area that leaves opposing pokemon unable to move while the user is charging psychic power the position of the area can be adjusted and the user then fires a ball towards the center of the area dealing damage to opposing pokemon and throwing them outside of the area so to get a quick look at his moves which we're just gonna level them up quick i'm gonna turn mammoth swine off for the time being just to give you a look at what uh he got so that's incinerate right there as you can see it leaves him burn and while they're burned if they try to grab a berry it only heals them for half as much and willow west burns them as well so you know, as a uh, as armor rogue char cadet you basically just burning them to death when like when you uh first start off 
that's his basic kit. Cool. What we're gonna start off with is uh, his fire spin, and then we're gonna go with uh, flame charge. So fire spin activates this little fire vortex around him. It doesn't explode like Ho O's does, but it does give him a boost of movement speed when um when it hits. And flame charge it does a shoulder tackle, and it instantly fills up his uh, and it gives him a shield. And it instantly fills up his his uh, gauge, and it just goes down uh, little by little. Uh, armor cannon, you know, it just charges up from a distance, and it explodes. And his side shot sends three waves in front of him, and that third one throws him in the air. Now, when you use side shot or shoulders, uh, or I keep calling it shoulder tackle, but if you use side shock or flame charge, it instantly gives him a max uh, cannon gauge. Instantly gives him a max cannon gauge, and then you can go into all the bonuses from that because it's not based on uh, the one-time use that you get from the boosted attacks. So you just get a bunch of boosted attacks afterwards. So for example, like when you use Side Shock or, or, or Flame Charge, like you just get like an unlimited amount of boosted attacks for a short while. Now here's your Night Move. It sends one big blast in the middle. Now you should be able to move it if I'm not mistaken, they said you can move it. Well, it's not like you can move it a little bit. Turn the cooldowns off. Oh, you can. But you gotta be quick with it. What's up everyone, this is ADS Play 101, also known as ADS Play 202 on TikTok, and this has been my quick overview of Armor Rogue and the Pokemon Unite public test server. Please keep in mind that this is a test server version, and that the main game version of him may be different. Armor Rogue will be available on September 12th, and I can't wait to play him, and until then, keep on fighting, and I will see you guys on AOS Island.